Hi everyone, how's everyone doing this Sunday afternoon? So what I want to talk about today is something that I feel um, a lot of you will be able to relate to. Now, if you're from the UK, you would have heard the sad news um, last week about one of our very popular TV presenters, Caroline Flack, um, taking her own live. And one of the reasons she stated that um, she talked about in her final Instagram posts online were that she felt um, hounded and attacked really by the press. Um, there was obviously lots of things that have happened in her life, ups and downs, but she's always been popular. And the reason for that is I think a lot of people can relate to her because in the um, TV industry really, even in the uh, what's it called, TV, music industry, there's a lot of bias really. There's certain people are chosen for us to be presenters. They've all got a certain look, they've all kind of act a certain way, but she's done such a range of programmes and you wouldn't, I didn't even realise she'd done so many programmes till I'd like go on YouTube and you watch one thing, so she was on Strictly, Strictly Come Dancing in the UK and she won that. So you watch something there and then you'll find the interviews that she's done, then she's done Family Fortunes, the celebrity version, she's done um, Extra Factor, she's done quite a lot of, she's been on Celebrity Juice, these are all uh, UK programmes, so anyone watching you probably think, what is she talking about? And she's always coming across as giving it 100% and she's a bit wacky and a bit quirky and just a bit real, so we can all relate to someone like that who just seems normal, they don't seem like they're reading off cue cards, they're not like perfect Miss Goody Two Shoes and we could all, we all kind of saw it laughing all the time and that sort of thing but this is the key, this is the thing, there's a lot of people that are walking around with masks on and they're using smiles and happiness um, when deep down they're struggling and we have to learn to take care of our mental well-being because it is so important that we do that because we, it has to come from within because poor mental health is on the increase, there's an increase of isolation, um, there's a lot more judgment placed on people, especially if you're in the public eye, so if you're not celebrity or you're not, um, even me making a YouTube channel, I made that decision years ago to set up a YouTube channel, thankfully I haven't had too much, um, you know, really personal and nasty comments or people that I've had to block. I'm someone that if you're giving me feedback, even if it's not positive feedback, but it's about the video or it's straight to the point, I'm willing to um, either discuss that or to let you have your your um, your comments heard. However, if someone's been insulting or attacking or if there's trolls on your channel, then no one's going to sort of tolerate that. But the thing is, if you're in the public eye and everywhere you go, you're being attacked through the media, through social media, through everything... It can be overwhelming, especially if you're someone that just wants to be liked or if you're someone that maybe has got some frailties and you're not as strong as the image that you're portraying. So we all have to kind of make ourselves that promise to ourselves really that we are going to become resilient and we're going to become strong so that when these things that try to knock us down in life, which inevitably there are going to be things, bereavement, relationship breakups, um, I don't know, anything, there's so many of losing your job, being broke or whatever, there's so many things that can occur and your mental well-being has to be protected, you have to make that decision. So as I've spoken about in previous videos, um, I've had a period of time when I was at school where I was bullied and the one thing I remember from that period of time is just you feel alone because you feel like this is happening at school but you're also trying to do your best to get the grades that you need. You also don't want to burden other people with what's happening. You want to handle it yourself. But then you also have this horrible dread and these feelings of like not wanting to be at school and, you know, just feeling alone and not wanting it to continue. And the minute I left school, I just made that promise to myself that I was going to work on my personal development, that I was going to not allow anyone or anything to bring me down again. And it sort of has served me in one sense because it's given me the drive to be that resilient person. I'm now going to give you five tips really on things that you need to, or not need to, things that you should consider incorporating into your life so that you do maintain positive well-being. The first one is around people. Cut toxic people out of your life or negative people, or if you can't cut them out, completely limit their presence. Um, 
what it is is that we live in a society of moaners complainers and judgmental people and haters there's a lot of jealousy let this is just because human nature is that way we don't often celebrate people that are doing good it, it's not it doesn't feel natural to lots of people in the world to say well done you for doing that or to say oh that's fantastic or to say to someone to motivate it doesn't come naturally to a lot of people because they're either thinking about what's going on for them and they're being negative because their negativity is coming out on you or it just doesn't feel right for them so there's a lot of envy jealousy so if we was to absorb all of that from wherever it's coming from it's going to have an effect on our mental well-being so we can't allow it to happen i'm quite ruthless as a person i don't allow anyone in my life who's going to try to bring me down i say try because they can't bring me down but if they try I might give them like a bit of a chance and see, okay, let's let them continue. It's not about me changing anyone either. That's the other thing we have to remember. We can't change people. So it's not about you saying to your partner who's constantly putting you down, you need to stop doing that when he's been doing it for 20 years. It's about you saying, I'm not going to tolerate you talking to me in that way. So if you continue to do that, I'm not going to be here to hear it. It's not about you saying to your mum, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, you're always criticising my weight. You're always talking to me about what I, that I should get married. You're always blah, blah, blah. They're going to continue to do what they're going to do. So it's about you. You don't have to cut them out of your lives because I think that's a bit petty for something like that. But you can say, when I go to my auntie's house at Christmas, I know what's coming. I know she's going to be saying blah, 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 blah. So how am I going to handle it? And you go to that party and you listen, but you say, thank you, thank you, auntie. And then you move on. So it's about your response. So what we've got to do is stop trying to change the world and change other people. We need to change ourselves or to just set ourselves up with a sense that nothing's going to break us. Number two is environmental. Do not be in environments that are negative. If you can, just try to find your peace within every environment that you enter. Now, recently I've had to work really hard. I've been doing long hours I've been long journeys and it's been affecting me in terms of stress because you are constantly, you don't have time to breathe. Sometimes I've been sat at the laptop till, you know, my arms are aching. I've been driving in journeys where there's traffic jams. But what I realised is it's not about the journey that you're going on. It's about the end result. I'm getting, if I'm getting a positive result when I'm at that person's house, when I've made that, completed that report, I feel happy, I feel fulfilled. So what I've, I focus on now is when I'm actually at the destination, that's the positive thing. So stop worrying about all the journey to get there. Um, so you just have to put yourself in environments that lift you, you know, put yourself in environments that bring you peace. The third one is emotional, and I'll tie that with physical. Physical is really about exercise, eating, hab um, changing up your eating habits, getting good a good night's sleep. Um, all of those things will affect your mental well-being for the good. And then emotional is to limit the stress, learn how to not respond and react to absolutely everything that's happening and check your energy. The biggest thing I learned, I think, over the last few weeks is about my energy. Now, I'm moving home um, at the moment and things are chaotic. And all I remember thinking was, I'm trying to do my full-time job. I've got packing to do, phone calls to make, got people who I'm phoning who don't have a clue what I'm talking about. I've got relatives that want to see me. I've got this going on, that going on. I was just, complete chaos was in my head and I, my energy wasn't where it should be. I had to stop, check myself and say, do you know what? Deal with one thing at a time. So when my sister and my nieces, niece and nephew came over and they were turning my place upside down, it's a working day. So I've got my laptop, I'm trying to work. I've got people running around doing it. At first I was like, oh, I don't need this. But then I thought, do you know what? Put my laptop away because I'm not going to get any work done for the next hour at least. Focus on the fact that they're helping, that they're here. Do that, do that, you know, um, get on with that. And it's just about you changing your energy. You don't want to become someone that is constantly stressed, highly strung, reacting, um, you know, feeling down or whatever it is. Keep your energy in a positive vibration always. Protect it, protect your energy. And the final thing is about censorship. Now, what we need to do is just be mindful of what we're watching and what we're listening to. Now, if you go onto any platform, you can find good and bad. If you want to, um, if you go on TV and you decide you're going to watch the news from morning till night, 
you can do that but if you, your energy levels and what you absorb is going to be different from if you go on to TV and you only watch shows about love you only watch documentaries that are interesting you can choose we have choices and if any and there's so many studies that say what you watch not just what you watch on TV but also what you listen to it does affect your brain it does affect your mindset it affects your thoughts it affects how you feel and I know for facts with me it does when I go on YouTube you know I have a choice I can go and watch subway fights <laughs> I can watch people um, playing pranks on people or I can watch something motivational or I can watch something that changes my life like generally money financial knowledge um, other things I'll always choose the positive stuff to watch and that's why like most of the time my energy is high I don't watch the news I don't listen to negative stuff I don't watch negative stuff it's made a big difference to my life because I'm not absorbing it all and I see people walking around on this um, in any way you go especially in the UK miserable just on edge angry there's a lot of frustration there's a lot of um, people um, just getting into battles clashes confrontations with people over no, for no reason that's all because of what they're absorbing that's because of things they're seeing things they're doing things they're watching it all adds up to your thoughts your energy and everything so that's really important so the final thing for people to know is don't let allow anything to crush you build your resilience search for the positive because there's always positive in any situation you know don't feel that you're a victim um, find your power don't allow people who are irrelevant to you to cause you mental distress. Who cares what someone on the street thinks? Who cares what um, the media thinks? Who cares what, I don't know. Even to me, I don't care. I'm at the stage now and I don't know if it's just age or just because of my own personal development. I really don't care what anyone thinks about me. My boss could say to me tomorrow, you know what I mean, this, that and the other. My mum could say something to me and that's really... I'm not saying that I don't care about people's feelings because that's wrong. I do care about what people feel. But if they think or judge me in a particular way and it's not their life and also it's nothing to do with them, it's not going to affect me. I'm just going to say thank you for your advice or, um, okay, I know that you think that, but it's not going to affect me. And it's taken ages for me to feel like that. And don't get me wrong, there's times where things still hit and I react. Um, but it's something that, I'm continuously working on and that's where we need to be because your mental health is the most important thing to you this world is taking too many lives this world is affecting too many people there's an increase in mental health issues and it's because of the weight and the pressure that you're getting from different sources so what you need to do is be prepared for it you can't eliminate it you can't eliminate the stress you can't eliminate the things that inevitable things that happen in life but what you can do is build yourself up so that you can become resilient so that when things hit you you lose your job you lose a loved a person close to you you have no money you get evicted you know how to handle it because you're saying do you know what this is not going to get to me my mental well-being is going to stay strong I'm going to be powerful in this situation nothing's going to get to me so thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video please feel free to leave your comments to share this if you want to and thank you to every single subscriber on this channel I know I'm not a massive channel um, but I really appreciate everyone that subscribes and comments have a fantastic day and I'll see you all again soon take care bye